then I'm okay because I can go back to bed. I got two and a half hours before I have to wake up, right? I, I'll be able to get into a sleep cycle and then out of it and then wake up and I'll be okay. Mm-hmm. When, I, when it's four o'clock and I lie there not sleeping because I'm worried I'm going to go too deep and then I won't wake up at 530. So then what ends up happening is at about five to five, I, I go deep and it's like now it's 5.30 and I'm snoozing and then it's this. Yes. In fact, so. you just answered it for me. I think that's what probably happened with me. Although I'd set various alarms, it, I had a lack of trust in myself. Now that you've just yeah. said that, I'm realizing what it was. So thank you. What it meant, I, I thought I maybe would be too deep and yeah. I wouldn't hear the alarms and I had to get up. I had to get up. It was just yeah. that thing. And so, so your brain tells your your brain's like, don't fall asleep, don't fall yeah, asleep. Don't fall. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you stay there in that light where you think you're kind of asleep, but you're still kind of thinking about things. Yeah. And then you end up going, if you just, if I would just lie down and just go back to sleep, mm. then it'd be better than trying not to fall deep asleep. And so what we're trying to do is impose conscious control over an unconscious activity. Mm -hmm. And so it's always going to be um, it's always going to be a challenge in the same way that people want to consciously stop smoking and the unconscious is doing it for good reason the conscious mind cannot just well it will try but it will it will keep sending messages don't do this don't do this don't do this and the unconscious goes well this is what we do this is what we do this is what we do whether it's smoking or eating chocolate or whatever it's doing it for a good reason and we kind of then have a breakdown of communication between the conscious and the unconscious because the unconscious says well this is what we've always done this is what makes us feel good and this is what uh, and the conscious mind isn't kind of in alignment with that and then mm -hmm. we feel like we don't know our own minds and with the sleep because the word hypnosis is from hypnos for sleep the Greek word for sleep the one thing it can really help with is sleep. Uh, it usually needs to be kind of instigated by a temporary agent who is going to communicate between the two parts of the mind to facilitate something that the consciousness wants. So if I'd had a hypnotist here, I would have said, can you just make sure that I go into a really deep, lovely sleep and that probably just before the alarm have you had that happen just before the alarm I'll wake up bright with bright delightful alertness so quite often when you're in a regular pattern you get used to this through repetition and so your unconscious finally gets the message oh you want me to get up at this time okay but trouble is your pattern has changed so you've gotten mm -hmm. into a different pattern so you're trying to impose a conscious rearrangement different circumstances onto the existing pattern that is now well established and so it's quite useful to know a hypnotist that can then get your conscious mind to tell your unconscious from this point in time I need you to do this okay. and once you notice these different personality types um, and how your energy is affected you need your energy for you you know so what, what should we do in trance, now that we've got your fingers working? You have a little think about what you might want your fingers to answer to. And mm. I've got a dog at the moment, I've just got to let him out for a second. Okay. Hang on a sec. Okay, thank you for your patience. Did you come up with what you might want your fingers to answer? <coughs> I'm just going to pin your image. So I can continue to see those fingers. Right. Now you know the drill, you know what to do. And I'm going to take the stance that I want to kind of shower you with genuine positivity and get some response from the creative part of you that will engage with that. Is that okay with you? So in these circumstances that we've just been talking about, there's going to be an element 
of positivity that you and I are not seeing at the moment. And for your well-being, we're going to see if there's a part of you that can find it. It begins with relaxing those hands and the arms and I want you to feel the weight of those hands on your stomach now through the pillow recognize that you know your hands and your arms are there because you feel the weight on the rest of your body and you feel the weight of you the presence of you sinking down into relaxation down into the support that is there down into the chair as you can just now allow yourself to relax all the stuff that you do want to deal with is buzzing around you almost in the energy around you and we know how important energy is it's good to talk there is magic in the talking and the talking has now meant that those issues are around you out of you though around you now I want you to count with me in your head down from seven to one as we've done before because each descending number takes you down deeper by the time I reach the number one you're going to regard those hands as no longer belonging to you you know your unconscious mind will raise the right forefinger for yes and the left forefinger for no when you come back to full conscious awareness of course you'll have full control of those hands though you hand over control now to that part of your being which is always standing by ready to help you now though there are seven steps as we now go all the way down down to the number one when I reach the number one you'll be there taking those seven steps now with each descending number twice as relaxed as before with each descending number beginning to realize that consciously those hands no longer belong to you so relaxed so safe you are allowing the unconscious to do the work for you so seven and six five four three and four and five and five and four three two one one and you are there time for me now to ask the unconscious mind the creative part please to come forward at an unconscious level and when the creative part has come forward you will allow the yes finger to lift falling on the creative part that part of you that comes up with all those good ideas allow the creative part thank you good well done now as we thank you for coming forward we need your help today from that creative part the playful part that part that comes up with all those good ideas and I know and you know that Tom is full of good ideas better ways of doing things better ways improved conditions to the point where if things aren't improving and if things are getting worse it is a problem for Tom and there are things that he can do things about and there are things that he cannot and I would like the creative part to indicate to me do you understand what I mean? yes or no? 
does the creative part understand? Thank you. Good. And I know that creative power that you have is so strong that it overspills into issues of the environment and issues of others. Others that maybe he cares about to some degree, of course, though aren't people that he loves, aren't people that he lives with, aren't people that are as significant to him as those close to him. So that there are environmental factors that may even take his energy or create a kind of negative force within him that makes him frustrated at times. Does that creative part understand what I mean? Do you, the creative part, understand? Thank you. Good. Okay. I would like the creative part now to recognise the positive application of Tom's creativity. The positive application that can create change, improvement, happiness, joy within Tom's life. Does the unconscious mind, the creative part, understand what I mean? Thank you. Good. So there are positive applications of Tom's creativity. That that he knows he can utilize the energy to utilize that which will improve his well-being and consequently improve the well-being of those he loves and cares for. So I'm now going to search and ask the positive side of Tom's mind to come forward, the unconscious mind, the positive side that no matter what he says to other people keeps him positive. That positivity that can lift him right out of his shoes on occasion, the positivity of joy, happiness, love. When that positivity, that positive part that knows the answer to dealing with these negative people, to dealing with the negative aspects of his physical environment like these roadworks etc. When that part that absolutely does know how to look on the positive side of life, when that part comes forward the yes finger will lift. Thank you. Thank you so much for coming forward. You're going to be a great help to us today. But I also want to give the ability to respond, the responsibility for the negative side to be able to speak too. So that other finger on the left hand, that that sometimes you wish could be left to one side, but often does invade one's well-being. That negative side that, not, that doesn't like how th some things are done, that objects to people moaning at him, that negative side, that, uh, that frustration can be represented now by that left forefinger. All the frustration with things that you cannot change that you would like to that can be now represented by the no finger. So let's just allow that finger to be activated now. The forefinger on the left hand. All the frustration, the misuse, if you like, of positivity, the waste. Knowing how things ought to be done and they're not. When that part has come forward, then the no finger will lift the forefinger on the left hand. I'd like to know. That's it. Thank you. Good. So now 
that those two aspects of you are now activated. We need help from the positive side, the yes finger, as the unconscious mind has heard everything that has gone before about interactions with negative people and interactions with negative aspects of the environment, things that aren't being done properly, that could be done so much better. I would like to ask that positive part. Do you have a positive spin on all this? Is there good reason for these things happening? Can you put a positive spin. Notice all the positive aspects of what is happening in Tom's world right now. Yes or no? Good, thank you. Now that there is a positive side to these things happening in Tom's world right now and that will be happening when he goes back to work, now that there is a positive side to all of this. Do you agree to somehow communicate those positive aspects to Tom's conscious mind, please? Thank you. Now that will occur easily and effortlessly. It will just be a change of perspective, a different aspect emanating from Tom because he's going to be positively affected by your positivity. Is that okay with you? Yes or no? Good, thank you. And turning to the negative finger for a moment. Is that okay with you too? Thank you. Good. So, I'm going to take one minute of clock time where you will go through the next seven days where the most positive aspect of you, genuinely positive, that part that seeks out positivity in all things, even when things are negative. That part that sees the funny side, the lighter side of life, that doesn't get pulled into the negative as much and can lift Tom from any negativity that is being applied at the moment. I'm going to take one minute of clock time for you to go through the next seven days and anything that you used to perceive as negative is now going to be lightened to positive. Is that okay with both of those fingers now? Thank you, good. We shall begin and every time you encounter something that would have caused a negative reaction, it's going to be positive and both fingers will lift. You will see what you'd see, hear what you would hear, smell what you'd smell, taste what you taste, drive through those roads and feel all your feelings with the positive aspects of everything because you're no longer going to allow your well-being to be adversely affected. This is an experiment and that one minute of clock time begins now. See what you see, hear what you hear, touch what you touch, taste what you taste, smell what you smell, feel all your feelings and those fingers will lift as you encounter various situations in life. Positively, both fingers will lift. Thank you. Good, thank you.
well done. That one minute of clock time where you experienced the next seven days has now come to an end. And I would like to ask, did you experience those seven days with a more positive aspect? Thank you. And will you choose to experiment with that positive aspect, that positive outlook for the next seven days for real in Tom's life? Good. Thank you. So now, as this begins a process within you, you have a clear line of communication set from the most positive aspects of you, the most positive, that positive aspect that can see the best in everything. That will say, oh well, at least this, and oh look at that, look at that over there, that is now no longer focused on what's wrong and what could be improved, more focused on what is going right. Everything that's going right, even those things that aren't quite, everything that's going right to take joy in the life that Tom is living. Focus now on everything that is going right. Everything that is good and wonderful and to be celebrated. Because, you know, we don't often notice these things until something goes wrong. Is the unconscious mind, that positive side of the unconscious mind, understanding and willing this to happen for Tom? Looking for a full response now. Good. Okay. And does the other aspect of Tom, that part that does notice what is wrong, that wants so much to improve everything and yet knows that there is limits to his being able to change things that are beyond his control, is that part now, the other finger, willing to allow more focus of positivity on stuff that's going right? Is that part willing now for all this to happen? Thank you, yes, good, wonderful. Now that all parts of the mind are in agreement with this new way of seeking out everything that is going right, everything that is positive, everything that he can have positive impact upon and have that influence on the world on his own state of mind, on his own well-being, on being able to glorify everything that is positive, right and wonderful in the world. As with awe and wonder, you can look at something in nature and marvel at how wonderful it is. And you can take those positive aspects of any situation in life and, yes, ignore, delete, ignore from consciousness that stuff that you cannot do anything about anyway. Do both fingers agree? Good, thank you. In a moment you come back to full conscious awareness, feeling good, feeling better than before, as always. Feeling good, feeling even better than before, with that positive part of you enhanced, magnified, glorified, that you live in a wonderful world, in a fantastic body, with an absolutely brilliant life. And there's always going to be some things that, yeah, they're not quite right, just like going to a restaurant and looking down the menu, the stuff you wouldn't even want to put in your mouth, but other people enjoy it. Let them have it. You now focus on what you enjoy, what you look forward to, what is good for you, what is brilliant and wonderful and makes you feel happy to be alive. And you're coming back to full conscious awareness on my count. With one, two, three, four and five. Eyes open and you're back. Feeling good, feeling better than before. Stretch and smile. And I'll just presume that's happening until I can see your face. Hello. Hello. How are you doing? Good, you? Yeah, good. Hyped? Mm. <clears throat> It'll be interesting to see what happens then with them. Um, 
changes in perception? Yes. Because I don't remember most of it. Good. Did so you know? it'll be news to me too. Well, it'd be news to me because I was at the point <laughs> of thinking, I need help from your unconscious. And it was certainly there. Did you feel your fingers moving? A little. Oh my God, this is why I wish I could video these things. Because to begin with, they were small movements, but particularly when I brought the other one in, you had both going simultaneously. And it's hard to do that with your eyes shut, to know that they're going to exactly the same height. I mean, I can't do mm. it at the same time. So the different parts of your mind were talking to each other. That is amazing. It was wonderful. Cool. So report back to me in seven days, sir. Okay? All right. Okay. We'll see you then. Lovely. Thanks, Lovely Shane. talking to you. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.